Okay, so uh, I wanted to take a deeper look at those videos here. Um, so the first video is of the famous video of the flag, the original video. And we have first the, the man talking to the Ukrainian soldier who's recording. And then we have Babushka coming with the red flag. Now, uh, one thing is that I didn't realize at the beginning, but uh, this is not just a Soviet flag. Uh, this is like what's called the, the victory flag, which is a flag associated with the victory uh, against Germany in World War II. So I think that's the significance of this flag. Uh, and I also noticed that she wears, uh, or seems to be wearing, uh, Russian colors here. Uh, and then, okay, we have here all the scene with the Ukrainian soldier giving their food, trampling on the flag, and she uh, refusing it, refusing the food. Now, um, this is the second video that appeared, and this one seems to be, uh, now this is like months later, and we can see that uh, well, the house is the same, right? You see the same wall, uh, so basically it's the same, uh, the house at least seems to be the same. And uh, he, uh, here, uh, he seems to be the same too, I mean we don't have a very clear picture, but except for the glasses he looks uh, the same person. As for her, uh, it's difficult to see, I mean she's farther away. Uh, and uh, I don't know, in the first video she looked really uh, tiny and, and short, at least compared to the Ukrainian soldier. Uh, but um, I don't know, here in this video she looks a bit different, but the quality is really not great at all. I don't know, is it the same woman? Uh, could be the same woman, right? And also, I mean, if it's the same house and the same man, there's no reason why it would be the same woman too. But, uh, well, we don't really know for sure. I mean, it's many months has passed. The, in this one, uh, she, the woman, right, has kind of Russian colors. Now, in this second video, the man has uh, Ukrainian colors, which is strange. I thought at first those were Ukrainian soldiers in the second video. But uh, it seems that they are actually, it's a, it's a Russian soldier. And in this second video, what happens is that uh, basically they come and ask if they want to be evacuated. And they said, no, uh, we prefer to stay uh, here with our dogs. And, and that's it. We, unfortunately, there are not uh, English subtitles for this second video, but that seems to be what happened. And I don't know, uh, I mean, I, I thought at first they were Ukrainian soldiers, but if they are Russian, I thought they would have uh, um, insisted more, right? Uh, to take them to a safer place, but I don't know. So basically in the second video, what happens is the soldier comes and offers them uh, to be evacuated to another place. And they said, no, we want to stay with our dogs uh, in our house. Is it the same woman? It's not, I don't know, who knows? And then we have a third video, and in this third video, uh, this is obviously a propaganda piece. Uh, I mean, you have like starting with the logo, and then we start with uh, these guys, these creepy uh, soldiers in the former house. Uh, and it's the same house, you can see, it's the same place. It starts with uh, this soldier uh, showing the house, and uh, uh, first talking about oh, how Babushka became famous in Russia, and how they are celebrating her there, blah, blah, blah. And then says, oh, but the same Russians that are celebrating her, they have destroyed her house. And yeah, so then you have this guy, comes this second guy, second Ukrainian soldier. And I think, I'm not sure, but this one it seems to be the same one that was in the first video. And this is another guy. And uh, he has this weird skull mask and an American flag. And he's saying, oh, look, this was a Russian projectile. 
I mean, this is a propaganda video, right? So they could say anything. They say they could have destroyed the house and that said, okay, well, look, it was destroyed by the Russians, but there's no evidence. They could just bring this piece, this mortar piece from, from whatever and just says, oh, look, the house was destroyed by Russians. The house was hit by Russians. How do we know? And it's kind of odd that it would happen, you know, just uh, days after of the, of the previous uh, video. They said, okay, well, now we evacuate them to a safer place, and they are in Kharkov, and we're bringing them food. And then we have them here. And again, they seem, uh, it's not clear if she, you know, is the same woman. I mean, he, well, he has the bird, he still doesn't have his glasses, but uh, he's wearing the same clothes, or very similar clothes that he had before. Uh, and she also sort of similar clothes in the other scene. Now, um, they seem very uncomfortable here. Uh, so it's, I mean, it's not even clear why they are being recorded in a propaganda piece. And he is even, you know, praying, saying, oh, send these demons back to hell, Lord, save us. So it's odd why he would do that if he was feeling, you know, the, that he's in a safe place with, with uh, people uh, taking care of him. So that's quite odd. And then uh, she says something, oh yeah, they are taking care of us and they gave us food. And see one thing that is interesting here, that the bag is uh, very similar to the... Uh, first uh, bag that they gave her with food that she refused then. So basically this seems to be saying, oh, okay, she refused the first time and now we made her accept that, right? And then she says something, oh, war is bad and uh, the Russians shouldn't have invaded, blah, blah, blah. And then they show this, uh, the house supposedly destroyed by the Russians, of course, without any evidence. Um, and then, yeah, some signature of the Ukrainian uh, Center for Information or some other propaganda outlet. There are obviously uh, two uh, messages in this video. One is directed, I guess, at the Ukrainian population and the Western uh, people uh, to say, oh, yeah, look, uh, Babushka changed her mind. She is now with the Ukrainians. She doesn't like the Russians anymore, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how many people are going to believe that, but that's uh, their story. But I think the second message is directed to the Russians. And here you see, you know, this, this scary guy with the, the skull and the American flag signaling American support for Ukraine. And uh, basically this message to the Russians is, uh, look, we have the babushka, we have your idol, and it would be really a shame if something happened to her.